Hello, today is day 34 and welcome to InspireVictory.com. Uh, at InspireVictory.com you can sign up to join a group, an accountability group to overcome pornography addiction. Now today I want to talk about uh, spiritual warfare. You know, it's not enough to fast uh, and, and to renew your mind and, and other things that you can do to overcome pornography addiction. There's a lot of things that combined, you know, give you the victory. One of the things is to, um, to overcome pornography addiction, one of the things that you can do is, is be persistent and be consistent. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that you get to be persistent with resisting the temptation. So when the sexual, te sexual temptation comes, then you resist it. The next time that, that's, that another sexual te temptation comes, then you resist it again. And you overcome that temptation. Now, that is so essential. It is so crucial that you get this. You have to overcome small temptations so that you can be victorious, so that you can receive your freedom once and for all, forever, for the rest of your life. But you got to fight it. You got to say the word of God when the temptation comes. You got to resist it. You cannot have victory just by giving in to the temptation. I mean, you wait for it, you're sitting there in front of the computer, the temptation comes, and you're like, oh, you know, okay, and you give in to it? That's not how you get free from this. Look, before 2006, I was, I was that way. The temptation would come, sometimes I would give in to it, sometimes I wouldn't. I started noticing, though, that towards the end, before God set me free completely from this addiction, I started resisting the temptation. The temptation would come, it was strong, and then I would fight it. How would I fight it? I would get mad. I mean, I would get, look, it's, it's something that may not make sense, but I would get mad against that evil, against that desire inside of me to look at pornography. I would get mad and I would say, you know, thank you, Lord, that I'm free. Thank you, Father, that I'm free. Thank you that I'm free. Thank you that I'm free. And I would say the scripture, I would say uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, where it talks about the putting on the armor of God. And I, you know, I would say it in Spanish, like I've said before in my previous videos, in Spanish and in English. Um, I was so obsessed with, with the word. I memorized it and I said it. The temptation would come. I would be sitting in front of the computer or wherever the temptation came. And, uh, you know, I was usually by myself because you're usually by yourself when you get these temptations because you know you're going to be alone and that's when the temptations come so i would say um be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in high places therefore take unto you the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto, with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Do you know what all that is saying? It's basically saying that all this, this, uh, you know, temptations that come to you uh, that, you know, you don't want to give in to the temptations, you don't want to look at pornography, yet you do it. It's, it's nothing, it's not the women, it's not the internet, it's not what you're looking at. It's inside of you. It's, it's, it's in the spiritual realm. That's, you know, how the temptations come in your mind and then you give in to it. It's the desires. It's from within your body. But you know, Romans 8, 13 says that if by the Spirit, the Spirit, you put to death 
the deeds of the body you will live, it says. So what it's saying is that if by the Spirit here, you put the Holy Spirit inside of you, you put to, to death the deeds of the body. What are the deeds of the body? Well, the desire to look at pornography. That's a deed of the body. And it says, but if by the Spirit, it says, you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. And then right before that, it says that you will die if, you know, if basically you're in the flesh. And so what do you want? Do you want to live or you want to die? But look, what I want to get through uh, today in this video is that you got to be persistent. you got to be consistent. It's not like, okay, well, today I overcame. Up have you ever, have you ever uh, overcome? overcame, whatever the word is, Did, have you ever overcome a, t a temptation? Have you ever done it? I mean, look, I remember when I did it the first time, I was like ready to give in to it in front of the computer, you know, and, and uh, somehow the Holy Spirit from within, okay, I said no, and I started praying and praying and saying the scriptures that I had memorized. It is so essential that you memorize the scriptures. Just you know, especially scriptures that have to do with spiritual warfare because they have power. There's a lot of power when you say, look, you don't see it. You don't see the demons out there trying to tempt you inside of you. It's, it's like you're blinded to all of that, you know, when, when you're being tempted. But look, in the spiritual realm, you're causing uh, I mean, you're, you're making things happen. If you could just see it, I've never seen it, but you got to trust that is there. And look, the Bible says to pray always. It says in, in Romans, uh, I mean, in, in Ephesians 6, uh, 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, it says. So look, the only way that I have found to overcome pornography addiction is by the Word of God. And you've got to be persistent. You've got to be consistent. Persistent how? Well, every time that the temptation comes, I remember the, the, the first time that I overcame a temptation and it was very strong in me, um, a, a temptation to look at pornography. I, I, was, I, was, I felt powerful. I felt this power inside of me. I was like, wow. I mean, you know, I was tempted, I was ready to give in, and I started, and I started kind of weakly, you know, kind of in, in a weak way saying, you know, like, oh, you know, Jesus, uh, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, kind of like, you know, really down. And then as I was saying the word, I was, my spirit was being lifted up, and he was picking up strength and strength and strength until I said no, and I'm resisting the temptation. And, you know, after a few minutes, the temptation was gone. And here's the key about the temptation. You know, I've talked about levels of temptations. Um, there's a level of temptation that is, uh, the way I put it is, you know, from 0 to 10. Okay, at a 0, the temptation is low. It's almost, it's really non-existent. At a 10, it's way too strong, and you give in to the temptation. So I've talked about the level of the temptation, okay? Because think about it. Temptation may come to you sometimes, sometimes, and you don't give in to it. It's just not strong enough at that point. But sometimes it is strong, okay? So let's say 10 is very strong, uh, 0 is non-existent. Um, sometimes the temptation can, can come to you like at a 5 or a 6, or it's lingering at a 3, and then it creeps up to a 4. I'm talking about the strength of the temptation, okay? So the strength is, is a three, and then it, after a, a few minutes, it's like a four. After an hour, it's like a five, a six, and you feel it rising up, rising up. Look, if it goes like from a three to like a seven, and at a seven, you're just like uncomfortable, you feel like you want to give in and all that, look, you've got to pray. You've got to memorize the scripture you got to use the tools that God has given you, the Word of God, until that temptation goes from, let's say, a 7 down to 0. Because sometimes you can pray and bring that temptation down from a 7 to a 4 or a 3 even, and then stays there. And that same temptation sneaks up on you and starts 
going back up. You've got to kill it. Kill the temptation. How do you kill the temptation? It's when you resist it and you know after you've prayed and you've battled it, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that temptation is not going to bother you anymore. Maybe another temptation may come later on in a few days or whenever. Okay? But not that one. That temptation that was tempting you, you killed it with the Word of God. I mean, you battled it, God took care of it. But it's, don't bring it down from a 7 to a 1 or a 7 to a 2 or a 7 to a 3. Do not leave it alive. It has to be completely eradicated, eliminated. And that's how you get victory. When you win those small victories like that, it's... To me, it's, it's like God is saying, okay, you're overcoming. I'm giving you total victory. You're overcoming. You've got to overcome little, small, what seems like an insignificant victory, an insignificant uh, temptation. You've got to overcome those in order to be completely and 100% free from, uh, from sexual temptation, from, uh, from pornography. Um, it's very important that you do that, okay? So uh, I encourage you. Uh, again, this is inspirevictory.com and sign up, you know, for, for an accountability group. Go to inspirevictory.com, sign up and, uh, and be accountable. It's in Spanish and in English. You, you know, there's groups and, and you basically, um, you know, we just have a conversation, we pray and we talk about these things so that you can be totally victorious. Thank you.